So much. I know this was not the time you thought you were coming, and it's it's just been you know in between the photo ops and everything else. So we're so so grateful you're making time for the Q and A. Um, we've got you. Obviously, look, you've got a huge packed audience I think, here. I think they think they're here for Middle Earth people. <laughs> <laughs> they would they would have come forward with axes and swords yeah. and things by now oh, at, the, at the rise okay. of the, the sun right. on the third day. I'm sure. Oh, it brilliant. Sounds fun. It's more fun than me. Yeah. We didn't get weapons. <laughs> how, how have your photo ops been going downstairs? Uh, 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 what's it like meeting yes. people? Yeah, I know, you know. Um, we weren't ready to be here until 4 p.m. today, so if we're not funny, we don't remember anything. We're not prepared, which is no different than any other Q&A we've ever done. Yeah. See, he doesn't even remember what I'm talking about. I'm bringing the funny. <laughs> Wait, bring the funny. Ready, hold on. Okay. What, can I ask, what is it like yes. for you guys? Because um, we've been running all of these panels virtually for, for two years now. And it's been, you know, it's good, yeah? It's fantastic that we've had Zoom. It's fantastic we've been able to do these panels. But we, we've all just been thrown back into, you know, I arrived last night and I was like, this is going ahead. This is going ahead. And it was just so many. There's, so many people. It's equally out there. Yeah. A lot of people. But you guys, your country, you, you know... You're far more vaccinated than we are. We, 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 well, we're very, very lucky that it's been... We like to be rebellious. Sure. <laughs> the state's good figure. Make your state. I think yeah. it became here and there a bit politicized, didn't it, the vaccination yeah. aspect of things. Very here nice in, in, in Britain, hopefully, the vast majority, everyone here, uh, will follow the science. Uh, and so it's, it's just so important um, that everybody gets vaccinated so we can just get back out... Uh, right. and, and do this again. And I say that as an immunologist, so there we go. <laughs> Very um, nice. So there we are. Um, we are just, I know, I'm just looking at time. Yes. Can we just get straight Absolutely. out with audience questions because they are going to be dying to ask you questions. If you have sure. a question, put Ryan your hand in the air like you just don't care. <laughs> Size 10. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite color? There we go. So have we got a runner? Yeah, we've got runners coming up. We keep these fit. They run right. Okay. Here's the first question. I got a runner. Oh, the first question is for Holly. Okay. So which is your favorite season of Charmed and why? Okay, see, I get in trouble for this. Now, oh. I'd say four, but it's not because someone left or someone came. Okay. <laughs> okay. But then if I say three, which I feel like we really found our footing in three, it's not because somebody left. <laughs> see, I just I can't answer that. Right. What was your favorite season? Season five. Season three is my favorite season, and season four, to be okay, honest, see, like see. I think they're the best. You know, I think they're the best. Like I season agree. three was just like the high point of the show, and season four was just like a breath of fresh air. All downhill from there. there. <laughs> no, no, Brian. No. Thank you. Here. Thank you. No. <laughs> oh, and I've got one more question for both of you, but let me get it up. So, what did you learn from playing Piper and Lee respectively, and were you able to relate to, relate to them or see how you're similar to your character? Uh, over time, yes. She was okay. a much better cook than I am. <laughs> <laughs> but I've learned. I've learned a few tricks. Um, I know Piper became a mom before I did, so I was kind of juggling the babies a little bit. Um, and I would just hand them to Brian. Because <laughs> Brian had more experience with babies than I did at that point. I had a child. <laughs> Not myself. It wasn't a miracle or anything, but at home. Uh, yeah, so, you know, those poor babies. <laughs> yeah. Okay, therapy right now. There. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got we got some down this end as well. Let's see if we can spread these questions out. Where are my runners? Are they running around with the mics? Somebody's yeah. there. Oh, there, there. Okay. Hi. Uh, this is for both of you. Which was the hardest story for you to to perform in to to do out of any of them? For Brian, it was pregnant Leo. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most fun though. <laughs> um. What was the most tough for me? Oh, shit. Pretending that you missed me when I died. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> you just she died. struggled on those days, like, ugh. Crying over this guy again. Yeah. And then there's only so many times you can cry over one guy. <laughs> And then 
the, all the dying and the dying, and they just kept dying. And now you're dead. It's all right. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. yeah, the romantic things for us were hard to play. That sounds very difficult, challenging. Why are we coming like that? <laughs> because we were friends. Because I was friends with his wife at the time. It's sticky. <laughs> it, it was awkward. It's like, okay, we're doing this. <laughs> we're doing the thing. <laughs> and your wife is like, and your wife doesn't like me anymore. Uh, <laughs> Tell the story. Tell the story. Which one? <laughs> How I got divorced? <laughs> because my wife thought I was having an affair with you at work? That meant you were... True story! <laughs> I'm like, true. how? I go to work. We kiss on set. I go home. Like, that is that? not a true story. <laughs> <laughs> she, threw the off. she threw a pot at me across the room okay, and broke that's the window. not the story. Oh, like, not that story? <laughs> Because you thought we were shacking up. Oh, God. Ah, Nobody said shacking up. Oh, sorry. sorry. Um, No, but she was, she was, she was impressed. She was, she was impressed with how passionate our first. Couldn't believe it. Okay. It had to be real. We were just that good. (laughs) Great actors. So that was one of our favorite storylines. My uh, myself. <laughs> it's not Beth's favorite storyline. <laughs> nope. I understand. It's an odd thing. Next question. Okay, let's go on to the next question. <laughs> Quickly. Praising and comfortable all over again. He's sweating. He's in a flashback. Oh. And we, we've also got one at the top as well. You can what see waving at the back there. So I want to get a sipping of a mic up there as well. It's like a skillet. Like a cast iron? It broke this whole picture window. It cost me $400 to replace. Wow, you were that good. I didn't know. <laughs> Who knew? Who um, knew? He's would, broken many windows since. Not me, but... Wasn't me. my fault. Anyway, next question. It wasn't me. <laughs> um, would both of you be on board with doing like uh, a a special episode or something? I don't and know why it's so important that I see you. Like I can hear you, but where are you? Okay. <laughs> okay. No, that makes me feel better too. Okay. You know who I am. <laughs> Would both of you be on board with doing like a special episode or something, like a reunion? And like a reunion movie. Yeah, or yeah. anything, another season. <laughs> How about a two-hour, like, Lifetime movie, The Piper and Theo? <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait. we find ourselves on our nice island. All the Lifetime movies, like, the wife dies, so. Or <laughs> due to the husband. And the husband is, yeah, and the husband is the guy. Right. Or they have an affair with the neighbor. <laughs> Sorry. She's in. <laughs> you know, it's been 20 years. Something like that. Don't do the math. Yes, but to, to answer your question, yes. Hi. Just don't say the reboot word. Oh. No, I did it. I did it. Any other question over on this side? Uh, yeah. Uh, if you. Well, what's do Charmed again, and you could cross over with another TV series. Which one would you choose and why? Supernatural, because they have all the weapons. Yeah. <laughs> and the cars. They didn't have good cars. Um, yeah. Hmm. Where are you going? Uh, <laughs> Law and Order. You're going to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I don't know, maybe Stranger Things? Oh. oh, yeah. yeah. Then we would be like the Stranger Things. That's right. <laughs> We'd be uh, like haunted or something. I don't think that's a good one. Forensic Files. See, oh, again, weird. the wife dies and it's the husband's fault. But Leo could figure it out. Yeah, Leo, evil Leo did it. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's that perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've just one here. Yeah, so I'm good. Hi, both. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Um, what I want to ask is, um, obviously, you love the show. You're still doing these kinds of um, reunions, which is great, and uh, we thank you for that. But also, I want to know, what did you take away from the show 
apart from learning a little bit of cooking lessons, obviously, Holly, but what what sort of values, what did you learn, what did you take away from you mean, the... like, physically, what did we steal? No, no, well, you could say that as well. That's a good question, actually. Why didn't I think of that? Evil yeah, that one. You. But, like, learned lessons, I guess, life lessons, I'm thinking. Um, well, to me, you know, um, I didn't have a lot of family growing up. You know, my mom it was a young teen mom, and it was a weird, long story. And so Piper having this, you know, grand family unit, unit and, like, legacy and generations was kind of a new thing for me. But it's not anymore because they still behave like sisters. And I still feel like they're sisters fighting all the time. <laughs> so now I know exactly what it feels like <laughs> to have a big family. <laughs> On a very special date line, he now is married to the other sister. Sorry, that was a bad segue. Oh. So, I'll this, get over This is the one where I died. Okay, so that's, that's why she threw the pot out no, the window. It wasn't happened. me. It literally it wasn't it me. It happened. Uh, Jesus, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> that was deserving of one pot and one window at least. You know, I, I think for me, I, I hadn't been on a TV show at that point yet, and uh, I think through the whole experience, it it kind of taught me what it takes to be able to uh, kind of run a show. And, and watching Holly and the girls, and and the amount of work that they put in daily just to and don't like. Do I it. answer first, and you have time to think about it. But uh, you answer. know, it's like, and then you come up with this really good answer. It it takes a lot of work and a lot of um, effort and confidence, and and I mean, it's just so much work week after week, and um, you know, it it takes work to do it, and everybody looks at it like it's just oh, you got a show, you're doing it, but the amount of effort that goes into it, and and then like you were saying, the family that you make over. You know, eight years. Um, you know, I took away a lot of special relationships and, and kind of an appreciation for what it takes, I guess. And uh, made it out with my life. <laughs> you made it. Yeah. Oh, fabulous! Okay, <laughs> we got we got another question. I'm I'm just going to keep pointing because I know it's really difficult for us to see uh, where you are. So we've got these bright lights on us, uh, so it's great to to be able to ID. Who's actually asking the question? Hi, Piper and Leo. I would just like to ask you, yeah, because you were like the most popular TV series at that time, and it was running for eight years, so we must have been like quite um, a friendly unit together. How did you feel at the end of that um, eight years? I cried myself, you probably cried oh. as well, but how did you feel to like disassemble as a unit, as a TV show? How, how did you cope after that, and how did you like... Mm disassemble to find the other roles and then sort of forget about trying to be into a different character. How did you move on? Yeah. I, I became a raging alcoholic and got very depressed. That was before. Oh. <laughs> um, you know, it was. It was really... <laughs> it wasn't that funny. It's not funny. It's, cause, not funny. it's funny because it's true. No, it's not. <laughs> Joking. We make jokes. Right. We got jokes like <laughs> Um, it was hard. See, I told you, we don't answer any questions, really. We just go round and round. <laughs> it was hard. It was, it didn't feel sort of like a family breaking up, although some of us never left each other, clearly. <laughs> um, some of us still travel together, strangely. <laughs> if you've seen Drew's Instagram, you can see we, we are together quite a lot these days still, anyway. Um, but it, yeah, it was hard, you know, at one point when we were doing the wedding scene, I looked at Alyssa and she was just bawling and I was like, it's okay, it's okay. And she was like, I know, it's just, it's cathartic, it's, it's closure. And I was like, nobody's going anywhere. Like, you live 10 minutes from me, calm down. <laughs> but yeah, it, it was, you know, like Brian said, it did become, you know, when you spend over 12 hours a day, you know, five days a week, nine months out of the year, and you forsake your other family and friends. <laughs> Oops. Um, you know, you do become like family, and it is sort of hard to go from that, like, day-to-day -day grind of, like, seeing people 5.30, 6.30 in the morning and having lunch and dinner with them some nights um, to just, like, poof, 
there's like nothing, which is why a lot of actors become raging and follow. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It's like a it's like a all or nothing thing. So I've basically found like you you have to have a personal life, you have to have outside interests to really sort of balance yourself and stay sane. Because otherwise the ups and downs are just too dramatic. Pun intended. Oh, wait. Okay, um, you can both answer this. Um, I was just wondering, who, who is your favourite sister and why, if you're thinking about just the character, not okay, the actual... Okay, so you can answer this one first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to think about it over here for a while. Like another decade. Uh, who's my favourite sister? Yeah. Be honest. Besides the one I married? No, be honest with the people. Tell the people the real thing. <laughs> no okay. lies. You know, I'm here another day with this lady. <laughs> this is why he was on the show so long. I mean, you know, they all had obviously what we had in the show, and and I think with what did they have? You know, this, they had the thing. we had what this thing, they? but you know, all all the sisters had their own kind of personality, right? And, that's you know, really you love Phoebe way. because she's so funny, and then, you know, Prue because she was this ass kicker, and, and Paige because she's quirky and fun, and, you know, I think the, the grounding sister yet. was <laughs> the grounding sister of life is Play Piper. I mean, you know, if I was a single guy going, oh, which, which woman do you want to marry? It's all about Piper, right? Yeah. Hey, come on. That explains why I've been married so many times. <laughs> it's like, you know, if, if you want to be a, what, you know, what I won't get into that. Okay. I'm, now I'm curious. I'm Tim Piper. Yeah, okay. come on, can, do I, can I have another answer? Yeah, if you want. <laughs> yeah, I, no, I don't. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get you out of this quickly with another yeah. question. Yeah. Quickly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. You're okay. Hi. I just wanted to see um, which is your favourite scene to do that was the funniest and which one took the most outtakes to do because yeah, you were wow. laughing too much. The, the Glenda dress really threw me. I just definitely didn't want to be in it at all, ever. You were fine with it. I'm super annoying. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that's it. <laughs> Seeing Holly in a dress is like watching somebody who's allergic to peanuts walk into a peanut factory. It's <laughs> 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 it is off of me! It was really bad. It was, <laughs> it was really bad. It's kind of funny. No, it's not. <laughs> like, and you enjoy it. And you look beautiful in it. And it's stop. like, ugh, pink. Uh, it's terrible. It's funny. Ridiculous. <laughs> it's awful. They just like to torture me. Yeah. <laughs> Don't dare compliment her. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, crap. <laughs> and then they just started setting me on fire and trying to drown me and throwing us through walls. And I was like, yeah, let's do that. That's better. No more dresses. No. <laughs> Put the dress on Leo. Look, it's gold. <laughs> it's a moo moo. He looks great. <laughs> that was, that was, if I, if I could redo one thing, it would be the golden rose. Leo's dress. <laughs> it really was a dress. It wasn't a dress. It was a nightgown. It was a robe. It was a godly it was a robe. It was curtains. <laughs> curtains. I tell you. Okay, next question. Hi, guys. Thank you for being here. Um, Thank you. See? <laughs> you can't see you. Um, if you can remember, what's your favorite line from script? If this you can entire remember. family needs a shrink. Yes. <laughs> That was way too fast. Wow. That phone call was what? way too fast. Yeah. Was that even written or did you just like improv that? Uh, you know what? I've said it in two shows, so it could be me at this point. Ah. It could be just me. I mean, I, I, you know, the only thing I ever said was I'll check with the elders, so I, I guess it's. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> and, and I said we're screwed a lot, which I was like, is this some like code? Is there a game? Is there a drinking game in the writer's room? Like, every time I say this, somebody takes a shot because I say it a lot. <laughs> we're screwed. There's only so many ways you can say that. Yeah, I'll figure it out. We'll check with the elders. <laughs> that was pretty good. I'm going to say you're getting better. 
Yeah. <laughs> You know, I'm trying to gear up for that, uh, you know, special we do. Very <laughs> I mean, we're still in marriage therapy. <laughs> that was a good episode. I like that one. I remember uh, enjoying it, and I shouldn't. That's right. That's when we learned all about the Kama Sutra. <laughs> how to fix a marriage, right? The handy girl, and I had all the hands, and I was like, yeah. I thought that was when we like go back and it's like private Leo. Uh, no, is it not that one? Uh, we'll see. That's why you shouldn't ask us. Uh, <laughs> you know, time is almost upon us, but I, I really feel we can get another question in. Is that okay? Sure. Fantastic. Oh, this is a relevant question to finish on now because it's not to do with the show. Um, Holly, what were you doing along the side of the road this morning? <laughs> I'm not kidding you. It had to, the bus was stuck. And I was literally like threatening. Like, I, it was a joke at first. I was like, if we're trying to get there. We're stuck in massive traffic. And I was like, if we have to walk or run, we're going to be running through the streets. And I was like, I've got Stargate people with me. I've got Buffy people with me. I was like, this is going to look really weird. <laughs> and we did. We actually got out of the bus, like 10 of us, and just started walking down the road and like waving to people in cars, and apparently you were one of them. <laughs> Yeah, the parking's down on the right. Uh, main entrance up on the left. Make sure Joe you have your passes. Joe's gonna do a meet and greet, like a walk and meet and greet, a walk and talk. Yeah, it was chaos, chaos and mayhem. So we all got our cardio in today. Very feeling very happy with ourselves today. Do you, do you know there must have been a load of people just queuing up, watching on, and going, "Wow, their cosplay game." <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. good. That's yeah. good. That's it was really impressive good. when like people recognized me with the mask on too. I was like, I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Clearly. You were maskless. You weren't helping. I was on the street. Jesus. <laughs> you know, time has literally caught us up this week. We we've got to get ready for the next panel, which which It's Middle uh, Earth, isn't it? It's Middle Earth. And they've got axes and swords, we're not gonna mess about with them. What? Um, can I just say thank you so much for you guys coming in because this has been absolutely brilliant. And I know you've you've run in, it's been a bit rushed, but we're absolutely delighted. So Holly Bryan, thank you so much. Thank you. Big round of applause. <laughs>